Welcome again, everybody. Okay, let's talk some money. Uh, we're going to talk about monetization. And I first want to say that this is really, it, it's, well, I'm kind of surprised and also interested in the fact that so many people said squeeze pages, email marketing, and are interested in monetization. Because I was thinking that it was, it's kind of one step beyond where most of, a lot of us are at right now. Because we all have small websites, fairly small websites. Um, but I think it's a direction we all want to go in, and I think some of us can start implementing some monetization ideas right away. So I just wanted to tell you a little story to start off, and that is that when I started my first website back in uh, beginning of 2008, amazingteasandmore.com, I um, had a friend who, he's here in Tucson, and he also had just started a website, and we kind of compared notes. His product was more information, mine was more pro you know, products, because it's clothing, garments. And at the same time, I think he was more um, uh, clued into this because he has more of an information product. He started almost immediately putting little ads on his website and telling me about it and that he was making a few hundred bucks here and a few hundred bucks there and you know who he was going to and how he was doing it. So I was kind of following along with it. And meanwhile, my previous web developer was saying, don't you dare think about it. You know, destroy the pristine website I've built for you. And, um, it's going to take people away from your website and no, you don't want to do that. This is 2008. So I didn't do it and um, kept in touch, He's still a good friend, he kept in touch with him. He started making um, over $6,000 a month. And so this is just side income. And he was still selling his information products, so it's just totally side income. A year and a half ago, he, he chiseled out part of his website and he sold for $65,000. So if you go online now, you can, there's a similarity in the names, and you can see the one that he sold and how tons and tons of um, affiliates and ways that you can buy more information. And then he still has information for sale on his site. So anyway, that's kind of a, a story that just kind of whets your appetite. And the main thing to remember is when you're doing monetization, let me go on to the next slide, I almost forgot, uh, is that... Um, I'll talk about the what, why, and the how, but it's really important to remember that there's two reasons that you can sell on your site other than a product, that you can advertise or do affiliates. And I'm going to talk about two things, advertising and affiliates. And it's either if you have a lot of traffic, and I'm talking about a lot of traffic, and or, mainly or, you have really specialized content, which means that you have a specialized niche on your website that, um, what's wrong? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so if you have a specialized um, niche, you can go to people that are also selling to that niche and you can put advertisements on your website from them. They'll pay you to reach those people because they're the same people that they want to reach. And so while you're listening to just a few things about monetization, just kind of keep that in mind that probably we're all talking about that approach rather than uh, the approach of going to the big clearing houses that do it all for you. So to back up on monetization, the what, the why, and the how, what it is is converting your website traffic into money. And most commonly it's PPC or PPI. Is everybody familiar with those terms? PPC is pay per click. So when somebody sees something and clicks on it, and you've got the um, the software running, that's, and I know that Sharif and Mike will know more about the actual software than I do, but you've got that running in the background. It, it, it keeps track of all this for you. So it's either a pay-per-click or a pay-per a pay per impression. And an impression is how many people have visited your site. So if you had 100 people visit your site that day, that's 100 impressions, and you can prove it through your analytics and through your software that's running and charge for that. So why would you want to do this? Well, why not? I mean, the main thing is that you're going to have con great content. We've all talked uh, over and over again about the great content you want to put on your site. So you're really killing two birds with one stone because you've got this great content, which is Mike's going to talk about next. It's a great segue. Uh, and if you've got great content, you're going to build your, your target market, and then you're going to appeal to possible advertisers. How? Well, mainly um, you can either go out, as I said before, to the big guys and go to these clearing houses, their programs uh, that you can sign up for, you can pay them. They handle everything. They find the advertisers. They 
um, place the HTML for you, they give you the code, and send the checks. They do all that, makes it a lot easier, but you do have to pay them. Because the traffic count for most of us is probably not going to be high enough to warrant that, you probably want to do, your, do it yourself. So I'm going to talk about both. But I think the important thing is to start now, um, start thinking now about why the secondary purpose of your content, okay? And just wanted to emphasize the content here. Um, having great content, at, and I'll, I'll let Mike explain more about that, but what you actually put, the information you put on your site is the content, and that is going to make a tremendous difference for you to build your market, which helps you to sell and helps you, if secondarily, to bring in advertising. Now, don't forget, the advertising is secondary to the main purpose of your website, which is your business. Any questions? No? Okay. Um, there are two options. There's so, well, actually, there's so many options. There's so many ways that you can do monetization. I'm just going to talk about the two main ones that I think are the main ones, that advertising options and affiliate marketing. And to go back to the pay per impression on the advertising, the PPI or PPC or both, the way it works is that you establish a cost, a payment per impression. And for an impression, it will be a lot less money than a pay per click because it's, it's just kind of something that someone sees, but when you pay with when you have a click, somebody's actually taking action. So that's a much more valuable thing. So let's say uh, this might be a typical um, amount, 0.3 cents per impression or $3 per million. And you can see, huh? Without, excuse me, I saw the M and I went million. So if you had 100,000 impressions, it'd be $300 a month. On a pay-per-click, and you can do both. You can have, you can, you can offer both options. I always, when I do a little advertising, I, I do a little bit. I always go for pay-per-click because, to me, that's much more tangible. But on pay-per-click, it could be three cents. It could actually go up to fifty cents, a dollar fifteen. It can go up to five dollars. But maybe a typical one for a big site, a big website with lots of traffic, is closer to five to twenty cents. And so, if you have a one percent click rate which is 100,000, it would be $50 per month. Is that right, Sharif? <laughs> What's an example of a really big site that would... Ah, uh, what? Seth. Seth, oh, yeah, Seth Godin's blog. Yeah, he's got, if you go to, if you go to his blog, yeah. there's little, there's advertisements on it. Um, social media, um, what's the one that I like out of San Diego? Media examiner. Examiner. Yeah. Mashable. They've got the first thing they have as a header is how many visits they have per day, and it's up. Well, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it's, it's in the mul tens of thousands, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that would be one, um, and that would be a legitimate place for us to advertise too, mm -hmm. or them to advertise with us. Chris Brogan. Mm -hmm. um, some Any of the, of the more famous social media bloggers all yeah. have some kind of... I also want to say, even mm -hmm. New York Times.com, mm -hmm. sites like that, they still have advertisements mm -hmm. on the side. You'll mm -hmm. see it somewhere on the side of the bottom of the... the so one of those, what, what do they pay? I know it's scary. Um, well, um, I, haven't even, I haven't checked it out, but it's probably going to be, well, for impressions about what I'm saying here. What do you think? It's not going to be more than 0.3 cents for an impression because impressions sites, are much cheaper. Some sites are literally bypassing the bigger houses and charging a per month to be on their site. Okay, and that's like an advertising fee then. Yeah, and right. they have a banner, um, which is the next thing. Your options are, um, you've, there's a banner, if you were a big company like we were just talking about, there are these banner networks that you would just apply to them, you do have an account with them, they do everything for you. And examples are bannerbrokers.com, valueclick.com, and eads.com. Are you familiar with any of those? Okay, yeah. So you just go on their site and they lead you through and they handle everything. Um, or you can sell advertising yourself. If you do that, you're gonna need to come up with an advertising package. And real, the three main things that you would need in it are the traffic that you have on your site. And so you go to your analytics to get that. 
and what your demographics are. And so again, you can go to your um, 